President Donald Trump's son-in-law and now top White House adviser Jared Kushner proposed a secret back channel between the Kremlin and the Trump transition team during a December meeting with the leading Russian diplomat. Kushner spoke with Ambassador Sergei Kislyak about creating that line of communication to facilitate sensitive discussions aimed at exploring the incoming administration's options with Russia as it was developing its Syria policy, according to a person familiar with the discussions who spoke with the Associated Press. The intent was to connect Trump's chief national security adviser at the time, Michael Flynn, with Russian military leaders, said this person, who wasn't authorized to publicly discuss private policy deliberations and spoke on condition of anonymity. Russia, a pivotal player in Syria, has backed Syrian President Bashar Assad, often at the expense of civilians during a long civil war. The White House did not acknowledge the meeting or Kushner's attendance until March. At the time, a White House official dismissed it as a brief courtesy meeting. Kushner's involvement in the proposed back channel was first reported by the Washington Post, which said he proposed using Russian diplomatic facilities for the discussions, apparently to make them more difficult to monitor. The newspaper cited anonymous U.S. officials who were briefed on intelligence reports and intercepted Russian communications. The Post wrote that Kislyak was reportedly taken aback by the suggestion of allowing an American to use Russian communications gear at its embassy or consulate, a proposal that would have carried security risks for Moscow as well as the Trump team. According to the person familiar with the Kushner meeting, the Trump team eventually felt there was no need for a back channel once Rex Tillerson was confirmed as Secretary of State, and decided to communicate with Moscow through more official channels. Tillerson was sworn in on February 1st. Flynn served briefly as Trump's national security adviser before being fired in February after officials said he misled Vice President Mike Pence about whether he and the ambassador had discussed U.S. sanctions against Russia in a phone call. Sally Yates, the former acting attorney general, told Congress this month that that deception left Flynn vulnerable to being blackmailed by the Russians. Flynn remains under federal investigation in Virginia over his foreign business ties and was interviewed by the FBI in January about his contacts with Kislyak. The disclosure of the back channel put White House advisers on the defensive Saturday, as Trump wrapped up his first foreign trip as president, and led lawyers for Kushner to say he is willing to talk with federal and congressional investigators about his foreign contacts and his work on the Trump campaign. Meeting with reporters in Sicily Two Trump advisers refused to address the contents of Kushner's December meeting with the Russian diplomat. But they did not dismiss the idea that the administration would go outside normal U.S. government and diplomatic channels for communications with other countries. Speaking generally, National Security Advisor H.R. McMaster said we have back-channel communications with a number of countries. He added, it allows you to communicate in a discreet manner. In response to repeated questions from reporters, Trump economic adviser Gary Cohn said, We're not going to comment on Jared. We're just not going to comment. Kushner was a trusted at Trump adviser last year, overseeing the campaign's digital strategy, and remains an influential confidant within the White House as does his wife, Ivanka Trump. Federal investigators and several congressional committees are looking into any connections between Russia and the Trump campaign including allegations that there may have been collaboration to help Trump and arm his Democratic opponent, Hillary Clinton. On Saturday, the AP confirmed that the Senate Intelligence Committee, which is investigating Russia's meddling in the 2016 U.S. presidential election, has requested information and documents from Trump's campaign. The request from the committee arrived last week at campaign headquarters in New York, According to person familiar with the request who wasn't authorized to discuss the developments publicly and spoke on condition of anonymity, it was said to be the first time any investigators have made inquiries with Trump's campaign officials. The Post first reported the request, which covers materials such as emails, phone records and documents dating to Trump's first days as a candidate in July 2015. Those inquiries now include scrutiny of Kushner, according to the newspaper. Obama administration officials have previously told the AB that the frequency of Flynn's discussions with Kislyak raised enough red flags that aides discussed the possibility Trump was trying to establish a one-to-one -one line of communication, a back channel, with Russian President Vladimir Putin. In addition, Reuters reported that Kushner had at least three previously undisclosed contacts with Kislyak last year, 
including two phone calls between April and November. Kushner's attorney, Jamie Gorelick, told Reuters that Kushner has no recollection of the calls as described. Defense attorneys and former FBI agents say that one likely area of interest for investigators would be Kushner's own meetings with Russians, given that such encounters with a variety of Trump associates are at the root of the sprawling probe, now overseen by former FBI Director Robert Mueller. Regarding Kushner, former FBI agent Jim Treacy said Friday, if there is an investigation on anybody, would other folks around that person be of interest to the FBI as far as being interviewed? The answer to that is a big yes, if the FBI wants to speak with someone, it's not necessarily an indication of involvement or complicity, said Tracy, who did two tours in Moscow as the FBI's legal attaché. Really, being spoken to, does not confer a target status on the individual, he said. Investigators are also interested in a meeting Kushner had with the Russian banker, Sergei Gorkov, according to reports from The Post and NBC News. MR. Kushner previously volunteered to share with Congress what he knows about these meetings, Gorlick said in a statement Thursday. He will do the same if he is contacted in connection with any other inquiry. Associated Press writers Eileen Sullivan, Julie Bykowicz, Chad Day and Ari Tucker contributed to this report. If you like this video please leave a like and subscribe.